Welcome to Winging It. We're playing Arkham Horror the card game in one of the most uh, iconic scenarios and locations uh, in that game. This is Return to the Unspeakable Oath from the Return to the Path of Carcosa campaign. Uh, I am continuing my campaign with Silas and Men. Uh, you can look in the links below to see the deck upgrades I've made from last time. Uh, without further ado, let's go ahead and get started. Drawing up seven cards for Men because of Studious. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. All right. All right. Um, I want to see Pathfinder and I'm a branch. Um, actually, Winging It and Deduction are not cards I would normally keep in my opening hand, but I will because of the way the mess hall works. I'll throw these cards away and uh, look for a. Uh, see what else I got. Okay, I have a, a Unsolved Ancient Stone, which doesn't do me any good. I have one Solved Ancient Stone for Horror Healing in here. We have the Overpower and Curiosity. So. All right. Silas. We really want Peter and track shoes is what we're looking for with him. Uh, okay, you catastrophe is not great for this point. We do get to replace streams of the deep. We want you catastrophe later on in the scenario. Okay, grizzly totems. I think I'm going to dump this whole hand looking for Peter and track shoes. So five cards. One, two, three, four, five. Okay, we'll take heart is almost as good because we can draw cards. So that's cool. All right, well, that's, this is what we have for better or worse. <laughs> Look at our acting agenda. I was in backwards order. Our agenda is a two doom threshold. I always remember that that's a two doom threshold. And our act is six clues. And right now we cannot get into the basement hall, the garden, or the kitchen. The other thing is, is that each of our heroes gets with a top card of their deck turned into a two horror soak. So that's not too bad. Uh, we'll just put it right here for now. All right, they are on the Asylum Hall. We'll see which one we got. Okay, after you defeat a lunatic enemy at this location, draw one card. All right, so. Uh, Silas is going to go first. He's going to move into the yard. Okay. While you are investigating the yard, it gets plus one shroud for each horror on you. Uh, there are two clues, um, and if there are no clues in the yard, take one damage. Remember that you have incited a fight amongst the patients. Do we want to start a fight? In fact, we do. Just kind of how we roll. Okay, we're investigating at one up. And we're committing take heart. So we don't care if we fail or pass, we're good either way. Kinda do want to draw for Peter, but who's to say it's in the next two cards? Zero. Okay, we pass, so we get the clue. Peter's probably this card right there. It's probably the upgraded one, too. All right, uh, we will spend three resources to put down Meat Cleaver. Okay, this clue should go here. Uh, so we've got a way to fight now. So. All right, Min. Um... Well, let's just do the thing. We got cards we can toss away, so um, we will spend three resources to play Pathfinder. We'll tap Pathfinder, move into the mess hall. 
which is four clues, one victory point. Forced after you successfully investigate the mess hall, choose and discard one card from your hand. That's why I wanted to keep win winging it in my hand. Alright, so we are investigating at 4b2. We're going to commit a deduction to be 5b2. Zero. So we get two clues. And we will discard wing it. And then we can play it from our discard pile next turn to get the other two clues. Alright, uh, we have one action left because we played Pathfinder, we investigated, we will take a resource so we can play Mount of Orange next turn. And we have this ancient stone that we could easily sacrifice for a uh, oh I should have added her icon. I forgot. <laughs> Well, min things. All right, um, so that's it. Upkeep. Min will draw Dark Horse. That's nice. Get the resource. Play LeBronge. Silas will get a Fire Axe. The weapon we don't really want. Okay, uh, we are at one of two. And we will draw an encounter card for men. She's going to get a hidden card. If you do not perform at least one play action, discard this card and take one dark damage and one dark four. Okay, and then Silas will get. Oh, okay. Uh, the current agenda or current act? Well, we'll put it on the current agenda. Because we know that's going to go. And we just take two horror if we take a horror. So, All right. Uh, Silas is going to go ahead again and investigate. Come in and take heart. He's up by one. That is a auto fail. Uh, this should be flipped over, actually. All right, so we get uh, two cards and two resources. So we get Dreams of the Deep and Resourceful. Okay. Well, let's see how we can do this. Um, we do have a Lucky in hand, actually. So we are going to investigate. We're 2v1, we'll commit Dreams of the Deep. And we will uh, So 2v1. We have lucky. So put a resourceful, we can get back our take heart. So uh, so we're at 1v1 now with the resourceful. Do I want to commit my other resourceful? Let's see, before we do this, actually, we will draw another card to see if we get some icons that we can use for this. So, oh, we got two resources also that take heart. So we're gonna draw another card. Okay, quick thinking, which we probably will not get, but. Um, just trying to do the thing. Okay, uh, commit Dream to the Deep, commit quick thinking, Commit Resourceful, Commit Defiance, all of our good cards. Uh, for Defiance, what will we be losing to? Uh, we have Tablets, and Horror on you. I mean, it doesn't really matter. We'll just uh, name the, uh, name the Skull Token, I guess. Yeah. All right, so we have committed, we're at this brings us down to zero, and then we're at one, two, three. So we're three v one with lucky in our hand. Uh, 
elder sign. Okay. Interestingly enough, we can commit take heart to our test, which we will do. Um, we can take one of these cards back, which I will take back. Resourceful, since it doesn't do anything for me. This goes away. Quick thinking and defiance goes away. We get this. And we did succeed by two, so we get an extra action. So that is kind of cool. Um, so we've taken two actions. We'll go to, if you guess, the Asylum Halls. We can investigate this with Take Heart, but I think actually, yeah, we'll just draw a card. What could it be? We've already gotten our weakness, so. Stunning Blow, not too bad. All right. Cool. Oh. Okay. Actually, rewind that back up. The whole point of doing this was we wanted to uh, take a damage. So we'll say that we, our stunning, stunning, uh, we drew our stunning blow, but we just did it at that location. Um, so we took a damage on us and, uh, and incited the riot. Yeah. And then we'll do the move next turn. It's probably not what I would have done. I probably wouldn't have drawn the card. I probably would have just moved. But uh, since I drew the card and I revealed it, we'll go ahead and stick with that. Okay, now it is Min's turn. All right. She will spend two resources to play LeBronge. Uh, so my own LeBronge. I'll put our horoscope up here. Let's have LeBronge to get a resource. We'll spend that resource to play Winging It of our discard, which reduces the shroud down to one. So we are at uh, 4v1. It's getting at 4v1 to get two clues. That is a minus one. We get both clues. And we have to discard a card. We will discard, uh, actually, the ancient stone. We'll go with the ancient stone. So, all right. Um, so that is that. If we go ahead and do our no, we need this under no. If we go in advance. Yeah, we can advance. Maybe we'll better suit it to advance next turn. Let's see. She's taking two turns. Yeah, because we're just going to get a resource. So we can play Dark Horse next turn for man. So we'll have more cards in hand, more things that we can do to potentially beat those tests when we advance. So we're not going to advance the act this turn. We'll do it next turn. So Min will take a resource. Min did play a card. So we, that doesn't go off. You ready? Grizzly Totem. That will be something we want to play too. And a resource. We can play Dark Horse soon. And Track Shoes, at least. Yeah, definitely a card we were looking for. Still want Peter, but... All right, we're at two Dune. This goes away. Okay, shuffle the encounter discard pile and each of the set aside lunatic enemies into the encounter deck and the lead investigator must choose uh, a monster, put it under the act deck. So this is our monsters. I'll put them under the act deck. These are lunatics here. And the discard pile, and we'll shuffle. Let's see. The new act, wait, the new agenda is simply a seven doom threshold. So we've got to get, uh, we've got to get going. Men will get Mad Patient. 
who goes to the asylum halls. When you attack him, you take one horror. And Silas will get uh, this one. If you did not perform at least one draw action during your turn. Okay. Alrighty then. Uh, I made a mistake actually. I should have waited a turn to play to decide to play Dark Horse, but we'll uh we'll go ahead and do it this turn. It's just gonna slow us down a little bit. Uh because I intended to have three actions or th I wanted to have three resources after the upkeep. I forgot that I couldn't use the low bronze the way I was hoping to. But anyway, uh, we'll, uh, I think, take a resource, play Dark Horse, and then advance. I think that's the way to go. Yeah. So we'll take a resource to get up to three. We'll spin that resource to play Dark Horse. So let's put it down here. All right, so now she's at a nice 5-5-3-3 five, five, three, three stat line. We'll go ahead and spend all six of our clues. Actually, yeah, we'll spend all six of our clues to advance. All right, and so now let's look at the back of the act deck. All right, so we have all these tests. We've got to pass at least one of them. Could head south put on some track shoes actually. But I think uh, Min can beat the intellect one. She's at five and she can commit curiosity adding her icon. It's only worth one, but she can add her icon to go up to seven. So we're going at seven v four on the intellect one. So that's pretty good. Okay, that's minus one. So we do okay on that act. Now we're on to this new act, which is from the return version, although the front is the same. But I imagine the, the backside is different. So uh, find the patient, okay, so we're just looking for the patient confinement. But also now we can get into these locations that we couldn't before. So, okay. So do we want, let's, uh, no, let's just move along. I have this grizzly totem, but I don't really want to mess with it right now. I don't feel the need. So we will uh, pathfinder into the kitchen. Kitchen is if there are no clues in the kitchen, that's two willpower. If you succeed, remember that you set a fire in the kitchen. That's two clues. All right, so we're uh, going to investigate. We are at 5B2, the dark horse. Zero. It's a clue. All right. What is Silas going to do? We're going to go evade that mad patient. We don't even have to actually. Yeah. We will uh, spend three resources. Play track shoes. All right. This is. Or at least one draw action. Well, I do want Peter, but uh, that mad patient is kind of a problem, but there's no point in evading it right now. We're just going to have to evade it later. And I don't really want to get the horror for messing with it. Although maybe it's just good to just kill it. I think it is, actually. So, we will go here, Mad Patient, to us, 
and then um, we will take horror onto our soap and a horror onto us. One horror is for empowering the meat cleaver. One horror is for the horror you get when you attack him. And we are at four, five, three, two. We do have lucky. Is there any card we want back? Not really, not yet. Um, it's fine, we'll commit take heart, just in the off chance that we fail. Which would actually be kind of bad, but. That is minus one. We do not fail. We'll have to take heart. And we heal our horror. He goes into the discard. We do not take a draw action. So we get a damage and a horror. Okay, it is time for upkeep. And then we'll get an inquiring mind. And we will not draw a resource. And that keep Dark Horse on. Silas will get not without a fight. He's prepared for doing enemy stuff. Alright, uh, we will go to my agenda. My counters. And then we'll get a maggot swarm. That's uh, unfortunate. It's in the threat area. So else we'll get, oh man, you have to perform at least one move action, discard from the card, and take one direct damage, one direct horror. Okay. So, I think we need to go kill the Maggot Swarm. It's fine. So, Silas will move, tapping track shoes. So we're doing a 5v3. We'll commit a... Uh, Resourceful to this. So 6v3. Minus one. Okay. So that should be not the final. So we pass, so we get to move here and we take back resourceful. And we are now attacking the Maggot Swarm, we will take a Horror. Actually, we'll take we'll put the Horror on this thing. We'll pop it. Oh, it's our Time Horn brand. Okay. Well, see how we can't get that out of our discard in any way. That's super unfortunate. Okay. Uh, so we are attacking at... 5v3. Uh, let's see, what is there that we can get out with resourceful? Nothing. Nothing. 5v3. I, I do want to boost it. Oh, actually, men will commit uh, overpower. So she, he's at 4, 5, 6. 7 v3. Elder sign. Okay, I'll take it. Uh, so, what are we going to commit to this test from our discard pile? The quick thinking and the defiance. We'll do the quick thinking. Okay, so he heals a horror, he gets an extra action. Min gets to draw a card from the overpower. So she draws a Guts, which will be useful. All right, so Silas has the quick thinking. He's got another action to do. He's got eight cards in his hand now. Uh, we already pulled back a resourceful, so we don't want to really investigate. Can we take card? It's going to be a bunch of cards we're going to have to discard. Okay, this Magus Worm is dead, though. 
think he's just going to move. Or we could play the Fire Axe. Why would we play a Fire Axe? There is absolutely no reason to play a Fire Axe. Six, seven, eight, but we're gonna have to get rid of card anyway. Uh, we can investigate for a card for no reason. I mean, you're really just looking for Peter, I think. What's our other weakness? It's not a big deal. Mike can clear it if we got it. Okay, we'll investigate a card. I can't pull it back, but it's fine. I don't. I mean, I'm happy either way. Get the clue or get cards and resources. Two v two. Minus two, we fail. We get two cards. Right. Defiance and steadfast. Yeah. Definitely gonna be getting rid of some cards here. And two resources. And we did move, so that stays around. All right, men will. Uh, yeah, she's going to investigate. She's at 5B2. Minus one. She's got the clue. She will now test this uh, thing. She's at 5B2 on testing the willpower to set a fire. Zero. So we have done that. We will take a resource. Or no, we'll tap the Mirage to get a resource. And then we will take another resource and that will let us put Grizzly Totem into play next turn. And then we will Pathfinder into here. At the end of her turn, this goes off because we did not do a play action. She gets a damage and horror. Direct. So we can't use our soak. Put the soak down here, I suppose. For now. Okay, but well, we're we're making some good progress, I think. Uh that's it. Draw an upkeep. And then we'll draw Eureka. And she's up to three. So for that grizzly totem. Silas will draw his own grizzly totem, which we probably want. All right, so what do we have? Wait, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. It doesn't hurt to have a resourceful in the discard pile, so we'll put a resourceful there, because you can always use to pull things back when you get to know their sign. Um, and we'll ditch the fire axe, because we don't need the fire axe. Okay, that's good. Got a nice full hand of cards. And we get a resource. All right, 207 Doom. Draw encounters. Silas will get Maggot Swarm. No, Min will get sorry, Maggot Swarm. She keeps getting these maggots, doesn't she? All right, and then Silas will get another one of these. Oh, no, this is, uh, you cannot trigger abilities on locations. Okay. That's fine. I don't think we're, we're planning to do any of those anytime soon. We might be. All right. Uh, so, Silas needs to go in and... Is that Magus Worm a hunter? It's not. So if we can just evade it, then, uh, yeah, we're good. I don't think men can evade it, though. She, well, uh, she could use Eureka. She'd be it. Hmm. No, not, not easily. She couldn't. That's fine. Yeah, I know what we're doing. Okay, Silas will go first. He will move in. He will engage the Magnet Swarm. He 
he will evade. He's at 5v3. We will commit quick thinking and not without a fight. And he'll add men's icon to the quick thinking. So he's at 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, v3. Okay, minus three, I need seven. So if I, if I do the six, five, I'll still succeed by two and get my extra action. So he's evaded. And then we will move into the asylum halls. So, and actually we can test the truck shoes now. We're at five, oh, we, uh, yeah, we heard. Uh, we're at five, five v three. I don't really care if it counts too much, so. It'd be nice to be up by three. That's what Peter would give us. Actually, maybe we don't want to truck shoes because this location sometimes gives you horror at the end of your turn and he doesn't really want horror. Yeah. So we'll just uh we'll just not tap the truck shoes. Okay. When you're, if you do not perform at least one move action. Well we did perform move actions, so we're okay. Alright, men. We'll Pathfinder. Oh wait, the first thing she wants to do is spend her three resources to play her Grizzly Totem. So she is set up now to smash some tests. And she will Pathfinder to the Asylum Halls. She will move into the Asylum Halls. We'll see if we were right about that horror thing. Okay, after you end your turn, take one horror and gain two resources. I definitely do not want to end there. There are two clues. Two shrouds. Alright, so she path she played Scrizzletone, Pathfinder, move for second action, move for her third action into the infirmary. Okay. So this is three uh, three shroud, two clues, victory point one, and you can trade your uh, horror for damage in the infirmary. So that's nice. Two clues. All right, well, ready? Min gets a perception. Useful. We are not taking a resource. We got everything we want online right now. Silas gets a time worn brand. Hey. Just in time for. Uh, Straight jacket, I'm sure. All right, we're at three in. Men's encounter is clouded memory. You must either forget something an investigator has remembered. Well, we're not going to do that. Take one horror and a gain surge. Okay, we'll take a horror and a gain surge. That's fine. We'll put our horror on this, which is of course analytical mind, right? Against the yellow king. Test three willpower if you fail the nearest lunatic enemy. That would be. This is ready. Is there a lunatic enemy? There are no lunatic enemies. Play. Okay, so it does gain surge. A fragile thought. Discard events. Gain surge because we have no events. We're surging through everything. Ah, oh, we got a maniac. Okay, take one damage, do one damage to the maniac. Okay. So, she will take a damage. I'll uh, we'll put her on the barge. I'll do one damage to the Maniac. Okay. He gets, oh, the sign, Pasture. All right, so, which one are we gonna advance first? It is hard to say, but I'm guessing it's going to be this one. From now on, every horror is going to be too horror for, for a while. All right, so I think Min is going to evade. This name should be a Maniac. Min is going to evade committing Eureka. She'll add one icon from Grizzly Totem. She won't use her icon yet. So that is, she's at two, three, four, and then five from Dark Horse. So she's at five, V one. To evade this guy. Mm -hmm. 
All right. Do not fail. You've evaded. Look through the top three cards. Be wonderful if we got a deduction here, but let's see. We got a Grizzly Totem, Inquiring Mind, and a Fire Axe. We'll take the Inquiring Mind. Okay, we'll investigate committing perception, adding her extra icon to it. So she's at four, five, six, seven, eight, three, three, up by five. I guess she doesn't need to add her extra icon. So she's just going at four, five, six, seven, three, three, up by four. Elder sign, she can pull back the perception. She still gets to draw a card, which is an ancient stone. We can heal some more. Nice. Okay. Uh, we need to. We'll investigate again. Committing perception again. Oh, we actually got the clue. That was the point of that. Minus one, so we got the clue, and we can draw a card. Which is deduction, now we get deduction. Okay, and then she will Pathfinder, and we will leave that Maniac there. She's gonna take a horror here, but it's okay. And she'll get two resources, which, how's she gonna burn those, actually? That's actually not ideal, <laughs> since we're gonna turn off Dark Horse, but, Whatever, it's fine. Maybe she'll draw something she can spend resources on. Okay, Silas. He's gonna spend three, four, five to play his uh, Time Worn Brand. Action one. Action two, he has track shoes. I'll go up by two. If we fail this, it's not a big deal. But we're going to be track shoes up by two. We just don't want to end at this location, taking a horror. Minus three, we fail. Okay, last action, we'll move into the basement hall. Okay, which is four shroud, two clues. 3.1, after it's put in reveal, put four set aside, patient can find the locations in the play. Which we have right here. Can put them right here, one, two, get this guy out here. They're all connected to the basement hall and they're not connected to each other. And there's two clues here. I realize actually I can play Ancient Stone and these are the two resources from the uh, hall. This is after you end your turn. So she already would have taken the horror, which we'll just take on here and kill this, which is Fire Axe. Okay, well, good to know, I suppose. And then she gets two resources. And actually she takes another horror, which we can put on the bronze, actually. Well, no, we should put it on her. Uh, for the sign of pasture. No, we'll put it on the branch. Why not? Okay. We are to upkeep now. This is... Well, we do not move. Min will draw. Fire Axe. No, that was from the discard. Just kidding. She will draw, oh, okay, cool. Hey, we really got, legitimately got a fire ax, which I suppose we could play. So we will go ahead and uh, take a resource from Dark Horse because we'll play that and the Ancient Stone next turn. All right, 
Silas, we get... Hey, it's Peter. Okay, good. I'm happy with that. I'm all set up as long as I don't get a straight jacket. Ha, ha, ha. Okay, we're at 407 Doom. Then we'll draw... Okay, we do not have a hidden card, so nothing to worry about there. Walls closing in. Okay. Go by. Okay. Uh, we got clues. We can. We're at 4B2. We'll just uh, commit guts to this. So we're at uh, 4, 5, 6, B2. Oh, by 4 is good. We won't uh, add any icons. Plus one. Let's pass. Let's draw a card. Wing it. Nice. Okay. Uh, and Silas so draw. A straight jacket. Oh my goodness, did I call that or what? Okay. So straight jacket. Kills my time worn brand. Puts it back into my hand. Alright. So here we go. Um men will spend two resources three resources. Put down her fire axe and the ancient stone. The ancient stone, we'll just put the fire axe down here. Uh, here, we'll set that actually. That is in my hand. Fire axe. Okay. The ancient stone has eight charges on it. And she will pathfinder into the basement hall. Sure would be nice to get Silas some clues. But what we could uh does he have a way of beating this trial though? I don't think so. Resourceful maybe he could actually. Maybe he could. In which case what are we going to do? We will draw a card. And spin it. We'll get to... Oh, the king in yellow. <laughs> that messes up all my plans. We'll get rid of the fire axe. So much for Silas getting clues. Wow. All right. Fire axe is gone. King in yellow is here. Uh, we do heal horror. That was the worst card draw ever. <laughs> Slow me down. All right. I wanted Silas to have clues so he could start opening up doors. But it seems like that's not going to happen. Because we're at... 2v4, and she can't commit cards to his test. He could get up to... I think he just makes... He's going to clear straight jacket and grab a resource, and then he can play the brand next turn. Alright, so that seems good. Trying cards. Min will get tarot. Not taking a resource. Silas will get not without a fight. Resource. We are at five of seven doom. We're drawing a card. She gets, okay. If you do not perform at least one resource action, that's not gonna happen. And then Silas, oh, Silas did not move, so his went away. We got this other sign of Haster. So now we're gonna take three horror every time we take horror. Yuck. Okay. Uh, 
So yeah, this went away, and he would have taken uh, two horror for this. So taking horror would actually defeat him right now. Oh, I forgot we had Peter. We could have played Peter, but I think we wanted the Time War brand. But maybe it's better to get he Peter out. Uh, and we needed to discard a card. Uh, I think we get rid of the Grizzly Totem. As much as I want it. Boy, I, I really messed up by taking that resource instead of playing Peter. All right, so this guy is ready. All right. Yeah, taking three horror defeats him, which is not good. All right. Um, but men can probably handle that. So first thing she's going to do is clear the king in yellow. So she can commit. Gosh, this is going to be crazy. Okay. Um, she's committing... Deduction and two inquiring minds and investigating this. So this is not a repeat of last time. So she's well up. She's at uh, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. 12 v 4. Okay, that is the amount of horror on you, which is zero. So she passes by a lot. King in yellow goes away. So now she can commit stuff to silence test. test. We got these two clues. So I was hoping to give one of those inquiring minds to Silas so that he could start opening up locations. But best laid plans. Okay. Um, hmm. So that was first action. Second action, we will draw a card so we can heal Silas. So we draw an unexpected courage. We can charge off Ancient Stone. That heals one of Silas's horror. So now he will not get defeated by taking a horror. Then we will Pathfinder, which was not tapped into Patient Confinement. Let's see what this is. It is test two and what to speak to the ancient the patient here. If you succeed and are able to interpret the ravings, remember that you know the guards' patrols, and there's one clue. We should have spent the clue to get in here. Put it there. Okay. So we drew a card. We got one action left. We will go ahead and investigate. We are at 5v2. Not investigate, we'll do the analog test. We're at 5v2. The dark horse. Tentacle. Okay. No luck. All right, uh, Silas will then spend three, I think it's worth it, to put down Peter. And then he will take two resources so that he can play Time War Brand. Oh, and she takes three horror for this and the damage. The three horror because of the two signs of Haster. She takes the damage and three horror. All right. That is everything. Upkeep. And then we'll draw a card. Curiosity. She will. The charge off the heal horror. Silas. New catastrophe. That is nice. And a resource. Is it six? Alright. We are at six of seven doom. I'm gonna draw an encounter. And then Dance the Yellow King. There are no lunatics in play. There is a unit lunatic in play. The, uh, this guy over here. So, she is at 5v3. Okay. 
Okay, um, we will commit, no, we'll just commit curiosity to make us 6v3. She will add her icon to be 7v3, 12 by 4. She'll actually tap Grizzly Totem, but either way, save her icon, 7v3, 0. So she passes, and then Silas, okay, his one action took one horror, which will be three horror, so we don't want to fail this. We are at two, the shroud value of this location is two. We could, oh, even you catastrophe wouldn't pass this though, so, okay, we'll, uh, We'll, we'll commit steadfast, and that gets us to two. Oh, Peter! No, this is the under, not upgraded. So we're at two. Let's see. We have six and four. So we, that's actually worth three willpower. So that gets us up to five. We're at five before, and defiance will be six before. And we will name the, are any tokens bad for us? Amount of horror on you is one, so it doesn't actually matter. All right. Up by two. We can't commit not without a fight. We got lucky. Okay, up by two, little lucky in hand. So we're going at uh, up by two, yeah, six v four. Naming the uh, spell token, I suppose. Minus three, we will spend one resource to play Lucky. Okay, and we can pull back the Steadfast, I think, or not. Let's see, the Defiance would be two, three. No, we have to leave the Steadfast, we can pull back the Defiance. All right, because that's uh, two, three, four, five, six, seven, seven, seven. Yeah, that's that works. Okay, cool. So we passed that, and we still can play the timeline brand. So that's nice. Okay, uh, Min, we'll do this uh, intellect check. She's at five v two. is minus one. So we finish that. We will Pathfinder out. We will move into this one. Here's Daniel's cell. Okay, we're gonna go to 2B. Two okay. So this goes away. So we're no longer taking jobs of horror. That's good. This is monster side host of insanity. She'll put the encounter discard pile on each enemy beneath the act deck, which is one. Goes into here. And we'll go get the host of insanity. Which means no Daniel. So I guess we can't get those two XP. All right, he is uh, four, four, four. Host of Insanity gets plus two. And this here, perhaps we see four, eight, four. And if you control the class with the life bonus, you can parlay, you reveal the class, the creature, it freezes in place. Whispers of Carl Prayer automatically evade Host of Insanity. Interesting. Okay. Well, we don't have the glass, so. He does damage and horror. Yeah, we can handle that. The elite he is okay so somebody to exhaust the brand onto that's nice uh so he is on he is massive okay so he's here so we don't have to engage him at least so men she uh what she investigated 
Pathfinder and move. Oh, we spent a clue to get here. So she can move out taking a damage and a horror if she wanted, because he's just massive. She could try to evade at uh, 5v4 doesn't seem great. Okay, uh, well, if she commits unexpected courage, she's at 2, 3, 4, she can add her icon to be 5, and Dark Horse will give her 6. So we're evading at 2 up. Why not? Should have saved the Grizzly Totem. Or did I, did I use the Grizzly Totem this turn? I don't know. Amount of horror on us is two, so we actually evade him, so it doesn't matter. All right, so he's evaded. Good job, man. All right, so that is where we're at with that. Uh, Silas will spend five resources to play a time war brand. I feel like we've done this before. A little bit maddening, actually. He will move in. One action left. He will attack the host of insanity. He is not engaged, so he can't commit, not without a fight. We will just uh, commit resourceful to put us three up. Well, that means icon to make us four up. That is minus one, so he takes two damage, and resourceful goes off, and we will take back Lucky. Okay. I guess I didn't show this act, but basically we have these four tasks that we need to do, uh, we, which we have done three of them so far. So the fourth one we can actually do on the way out. Just depends. All right. Uh, so we got back our Lucky, and he readies. Men will draw. Class with the Black Onyx, making everything from her hand more expensive. This is Min's hand right now. <laughs> she has nothing she can commit for icons. Makes me sad. It's a good thing that she's pretty set up. She will uh, use a charge off this to heal Silas's horror. Because he's more vulnerable. He'll draw a card. He gets Unexpected Courage. And a resource. <clears throat> All right, we are, oh, this will advance. Okay. All right. The investigator must randomly choose an enemy from among the set aside monster enemies and shuffle it into the encounter deck without looking at it. Okay. We'll do that. Check the campaign log. Contents domain. She's she we killed everybody. So she doesn't show up. So cool. Alright, and then we have this, which is uh, eight doom threshold. And just get out of here. And uh, when you would leave an enemy, place an enemy on uh, beneath the act deck and shuffle it into the encounter deck instead. So that's that uh, when certain mechanics would do that. Okay, cool. Time to draw encounters. And then we'll get a maggot swarm. Okay. So she uh, is on Min's location. And Spawn of Holly is on Silas. Well, we're just getting overwhelmed with enemies right now. Okay. Shoo. Let's see, the host of sanity, we could do eight damage to him. But. But. Hmm. But 
then we'd be giving up everything else. We'd like to free up men, actually. If we need to take a damage and horror, we can. So I think first thing to do is hit this Maggot Swarm, which we are at... Um, yeah. We're at 6v3. We have a Lucky, so we'll just go at 6v3. Seems good. Minus three. Whew. Well, we had the lucky, so Maggot Swarm is dead. All right, and then Silas will hit the spawn of Holly using a stunning blow. Again, with the time we're brand, that puts him at six v four, seven v four. He adds men's icon to be eight v four. Zero. It takes two damage and is evaded. And then we will we can just swing on the host of insanity. Or do we evade him? I think we evade him. So we will evade him, committing not without a fight. So we're at four, five, six. Seven, eight, three, four. It actually, it's the fear. That's not without a fight. It's eight, three, four. Can invade the host and say last action. Okay, that is a minus one. Okay, so he's evaded. Good times. Oh, and we can pull back not without a fight because we didn't. Need it. Okay. Excellent. Okay, Min is going to, I think, Pathfinder out of here. And then she will move into the patient confinement. This is Test of Fight 2. And she loses a clue. Hmm. She can't beat, she'd be at 3v2. Okay, so she in Pathfinder moved. She can move back to here. And then she can move, send a clue, move back to this one, which will be the willpower one, right? I guess I didn't show it. This is the fight one. We have to press two for these things. And this one is test willpower X or X to the amount of horror on you. I don't remember if we spent a clue or not, but we don't need the clues anyway. So, um, okay. So that's she Pathfinder move, move, move. Okay. So this guy re-engages onto Silas. This host of insanity. Didn't we do some damage to him already? Did we not? I guess we just evaded him. All right, well, let's take our time, I suppose. Um, and then we'll draw upkeep, and then we'll get Dark Horse. I guess I'll help with the willpower test. We're not taking the resource. So it's got two cart. Our resource, you can play the task free now, so that's good. All right, we are at one of eight doom. We draw, main draws Dance of the Yellow King. Plus three if we fail, the nearest lunatic enemy. We do not want that to happen. So we are at five, V3. We will go six, seven, V3, the Grizzly Totem. Seven, V3, pretty nice. Okay, minus two, we pass. Is that dance the yellow king? Okay, 
Okay, and then Silas will get another enemy. Haha, <laughs> actually. Okay, you get three fight into the end. Let's either take one horror. Okay, we'll just take a horror and put it on Peter. That's fine. Alright, so the first thing Silas will do is to fight the spawn of Holly. He is uh, at six. Let's see, do we want to come in? Okay, we have Lucky. Six before. There's no reason not. It does have Retaliate. So, we'll commit not without a fight, which is worth a lot of icons. It's worth the enemy engage with you, which is one, two, three. So, it's four icons. So, we're at like. 10 v4. Okay. And then minus four. Let's see. So we were we were still we were at four. Five six. Okay, we lose the not without a fight. He's dead. That's good. And then We will uh, hit the young psychopath. We're at 62. Okay, minus three. It's dead. And we're just going to tank a hit from the host of insanity. We just need to start actually doing some damage to it. So we will uh, commit. Unexpected Courage to be at 8 v4. Minus 1. We pull back the Unexpected Courage. He takes 2 damage. Alright, men will investigate she's gonna do this uh hmm. she's gonna draw a card she gets unexpected courage she will heal horror for the ancient stone okay she's gonna test 5v1 on this willpower test minus two so we pass that means we've got all four of the things we need. So we can flip this over. Okay, shuffle the encounter discard pile on each enemy beneath the act deck, which there are none. Place three monster enemies. There's only one monster enemy in the in this pile. So you don't have to draw one. Okay. So we get to the final act. No asylum. Okay, the uh, ignore the uh, yeah garden gains. If there are no ready enemies in the garden. Resign. Find the way out. Okay, so Min's gonna go resign. As early as possible. So Min, she took one action to draw, one action to do this thing. Uh, we have not Pathfinder yet, so she will Pathfinder into the basement hall. If she moves up there, she's gonna take a horror. But whatever, she'll do that. She doesn't care about horror. All right. So Min is on her way out. Hopefully she doesn't hit any enemies on the way. Silas takes a damage and a horror. Oh, he healed a horror off Peter at the end of his turn. But now he takes a horror and he takes some damage. And host some insanity. And now it's time for upkeep. Min will draw another tarot. Unbelievable how many cards she has in her hand right now that don't have icons. Which I try to minimize in her deck, but it is what it is. Okay, Silas. Oh no! Psychosis! If you take one or more horror, take a direct damage. Oh no! Silas! Alright. So, men will get fragile thoughts, discard events from your hand. Oh, she was taking a horror and two resources. 
before. Worst part about that is it turns off Dark Horse. Okay, she's got to get rid of the events in her hand, which is winging it, which goes in her discard pile, which is fine. Silas. Okay, lose one action, take one horror. We do not want that. I don't know what else he can do about that, really. Um, the shroud value of our location is two? Yeah, two. So, we're at 2v2. If we fail, we can lucky it up. We could do catastrophe. I think that's the way to go. All right. So, well, we can commit and we can pull it back. We'll commit uh, unexpected courage. Yeah. And take heart. So we're up by two. Elder sign. Okay. We will uh, take back the unexpected courage. We'll lose take heart. What will we commit to this? The quick thinking, of course. Um, which... No, wait, we'll leave, we'll take back to take heart and leave the unexpected courage so the quick thinking goes off. Yeah. So we'll take back to take heart, leave the unexpected courage. No, you know, we'll lose the uh, take heart as well. We don't need it. Uh, that way we preserve our ability to uh, pull back cards later. So we've got the quick thinking. So we get extra actions. All right, excellent. So uh, Silas will go at 6v. Four. Um, okay, he'll commit. Uh, it's fine. We have the lucky. All right. So we're at six before attacking this guy. He doesn't ever tell you. So we're good. That's plus one. He takes two damage. All right, now we're going all in here. We're going to commit Defiance and Quick Thinking to go at four, five, six. Actually, we want, we're going to keep the Quick Thinking. We might want it later for getting out of here. Okay, uh, so Defiance gets us up to, we're three up, so we can Lucky. Uh, and I guess we'll call out the uh, Skulls. And we still have to pull back Defiance if we want. So you have Lucky you Catastrophe. We cannot fail this. Oh, wait, we're exhausting the brand. I don't know if I said that. Yeah, so there we go. To do four damage. Zero. Okay, we'll pull back the Defiance. He didn't need it. Okay, he's dead. We need to draw three cards. Steadfast. Grizzly Totem. And Stunning Blow. We now suddenly have a handful of cards. All right, so we attacked, we attacked, and now let's get out of here. Oh, we actually had, we have two more actions because of the uh, the quick thinking, right? Yeah, okay, well, hmm. We don't care about psychosis that much. We just wanna get out of here. But actually, we can move, we can track shoes. Yeah, we'll track shoes, committing Grizzly Totem to be at four, five, six, seven, up by four on the track shoes test. Okay, it's minus one. So track shoes is good, and then we will move. So we attack, attack, move, and then move. We just don't want to end here because we get a direct damage uh, from psychosis, which we don't want. So cool. All right, excellent, good things. This was committed. All right. Systems threat area. Okay, men will draw. 
Eureka. Finally, some new icons. I mean, she actually has an unexpected courage. Why did I take a resource? Well, we could play one of these things. As well. <clears throat> Nautical prowess. A little late, but whatever, we'll take it. We're up to three resources with Silas. We are at two of eight doom. Oh no, this maggot swarm should have been hunting. <sighs> because there's a location with no clues. How long did I mess that up for? How long did I mess that up for? Well, he would have just been hanging out here. So we'll assume, yeah, that he was hanging out here. And so men took an extra horror and he's on her. It's probably not what I would have done, but we'll just try to correct this. Ah, okay. But when she did draw a card, she would have healed a horror. So. But she's got this enemy on her. All right. Yep, let's draw cards. Maniac. Do this on two men. Who's got to take a damage? And walls closing in. This is... So, but okay, we don't really care that much about this one. So, we will uh, but we can still uh, commit steadfast. Go to three, four, five. And not go prowess. Six, seven. So we are at seven. Me too. No, we'll just go three up. No reason to do an alcohol promise. Okay, that is minus one. So we won with the steadfast. All right, so how are we going to deal with these two enemies that are on men? Because I did not think about this correctly. Men can evade, evade, Pathfinder move. Does she have ways to evade? I think she does. So first thing she'll do is evade the Maniac. Committing Eureka. Not adding any icons to it. So she's at two, well, actually she does. She, that'd be three V1, so we'll use the Grizzly Totem to go four V1, because we don't have a Dark Horse. Okay, minus two. So we get to look at the top three cards and pick one. Okay. Um, we're not going to need anything, so we might as well take that with an evade icon. So the maniac is evaded. Oh, he has, he should have a damage on him. She is going to now evade the Maggot Swarm, which is three. Committing the Grizzly Totem, which, and the Unexpected Courage, adding her icon. So that gets her to, th to three, four, five, six, V3. one. Maggot Swarm is evaded. All right, and then she will Pathfinder and move the yard. Silas could actually get out of here, but he can discard Psychosis. And then uh, he has to do this. He will uh, get rid of the side monster and place it. In. Okay, so I'll do this. Take one of the side monsters and put it in the, and shuffle it into the encounter deck. And that way he can actually resign. All right, so that's good. 
little ready. And then we'll get perception. I want to keep getting resources. Well, we get one more resource, then we can play this harrow to turn the dark horse back on. Because we have that clasp in our hand that makes everything cost extra. All right. Uh, Silas will get a lucky. And a resource. These guys are ready. And the Magus Worm won't hunt because there's clues on his location. Okay. We're at three of eight doom. Cruising on out of here, right? Unless we get a big enemy. All right. Uh, if you do not perform at least one play action, discard this card from your hand. Okay. She probably doesn't need to. She's probably just going to resign. Silas, if you have one or more hidden cards, he does not. So he does not surge. And he gets. If you do not perform at least one move action, well, we will definitely do that anyway. Okay, so men will Pathfinder into the garden, which has two clues, three shroud, and yeah, we can remember that we distracted the guards, but we don't need to distract the guards. <clears throat> and there are two clues there that I'll put there, but then she'll just resign. Okay, so she has resigned. Silas. Moves up. He will test track shoes. He's at 6v3. Seems legit. So we will just go at 6v3. Not that we have to pass the test, but. Uh, we're not even going to test it. Right. So we can just move, move, and then resign. Yeah. No reason to. Okay. So that was, uh, that was pretty cool. Uh, the host insanity was insane. So we've got uh, one victory point, two victory points, one, two, three, four victory points. All right, not so bad. I'm happy with that, happy with that outcome. Uh, a little bit different. I'm disappointed that I didn't get to save Daniel after taking the class. It makes me uh, wish I hadn't taken the class, but it'll, it'll do me all right. So anyway, uh, thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed our return to the unspeakable oath, and I will see you next time on Winging It.